Hey y'all, it's your girl Mariah Perry and I'm back again with another video. I'm vlogging on my camera because, well, I'm vlogging on my phone because I do not have an SD card at this very moment. It is a travel day for me, if you guys read the title. I am attending the NABJ conference in Alabama, so I'm currently at the airport. I did the self-parking, so I don't trust Ubers and I'm not about to trust one today. I decided to drive myself to the airport park at the airport and now i need to figure out where the shuttle is so i can go ahead and check in i have all my bags with me so i'm not checking in any bags which is great because i don't have time to be losing luggage it is currently 707 a.m my flight leaves around 9 56 a.m my goals for when i get into the airport is to check in find food and an SD card. If you guys don't like riding in Ubers, I definitely recommend Express Deck self parking for real, for real. To get on this elevator to see, it says walkway to shuttle. Guess I'm not getting on the elevator. So nice out. It's early in the morning, so it's not too hot. You guys, I was so upset to find out that I did not have my SD card on me. And I had to walk from one side of the airport to the next just for an SD card. And they charged me $50. Oh my gosh. I made it to my flight. I was able to find an SD card. So you guys are back on my camera. Um. Yeah, so we're just waiting to get on the flight. I think we're about to board in like less than 10 minutes. I did have a window seat, but they changed me to an aisle seat. So that's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I landed and I made it to Birmingham safely. I'm also in my hotel room. I'll give you guys a quick room tour, but really it's nothing extravagant, but I feel safe. I guess I can say that. Um, so let me make this really quick because my session starts at 1 p.m. It's currently 11.45 p.m. Here is the hotel room. This light does not turn on, but whatever. Here's the bathroom. It's pretty big in here. Here's the shower. When you walk in the room, there's kind of like a living room. I guess you can say I just ironed my clothes because I just changed. My phone is charging right here. I have a queen. This may be a king. Queen or king size bed. <clears throat> Closet. TV and yeah. So this is my first time ever coming to a convention, let alone an NABJ convention. If you guys don't know what that stands for, it's the National Association of Black Journalists. And I have a few things on my schedule. Um, the first thing I'm going to at 1 p.m. is the YouTube News Shorts Workshop powered by YouTube. So basically I'll be learning a little bit about how I can optimize my news experience and tell my stories on YouTube Shorts. Although I'm not a journalist, It'll benefit me in the long run because I do upload on YouTube Shorts. They'll also be discussing vertical video case studies and I'll be learning about short content inspiration. So that's my first thing today and I'm going to go from there. Here's the app. Everything. Uh oh. Jeez, so many notifications. So here's the NABJ app for this year's convention. It basically has everything. Here are the programs. Um, you can sign up for anything that's going on. Everything that has this little yellow calendar is basically on my schedule. And then here's a better view of what my schedule looks like on an actual calendar. So I have some things that are at the same time. I just gotta pick and choose which one I deem as, which one I deem as priority. Do y'all like my hair? I was gonna do a bun, but 
I think the twist out came out pretty good. I ironed my shirt, but it looks like I missed the spot. That's embarrassing. This top is from Burlington. Matter of fact, I'll give you guys out for the day in a second. My Uber is like seven minutes away. I just want to get rid of these oily spots. I'm actually kind of hungry, but I don't have time to eat just yet. Maybe I'll eat after the first session because that ends at 2.30. With OOTD, my top is from Burlington. Um, Pandora bracelet, Apple Watch bust down. <laughs> I'm dead. And I have some um, slacks from Old Navy. They were 30% off. Have my phone on the charger. Y'all, I do not like, I do not like Ubers. At least, I don't like riding Ubers by myself, so this would be my first time in an Uber by myself, so wish me luck. I feel like I can do this. I don't know, something about riding an Uber, especially as a young lady alone, just doesn't sit right with me. Thankfully, all the Ubers that I got in while here were pretty nice. I just got to the convention center, about to figure out where I can pick up my badge at. It's very hot, and my Uber ride was pretty good. Downtown Birmingham looks really nice. Although I didn't get to see most of the city, the parts that I did get to see, I thought looked very nice. Um, this is inside of the convention center. I was walking to the pre-registered line to pick up my badge. And directly after that, I made my way upstairs to my first session of the day. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber, so why wouldn't I go to the YouTube session? They gave out some merch. I got a notebook and a mug. Y'all, the mug looks so cool. You guys will see it a little later. Well, there it is right there. So nice. All right, guys, I just left my first session, and now I'm about to walk to the food truck. My next session is about in, a, is in an hour, so I'm just getting some food. If you guys hear some noise in the background is because I'm walking past a little waterfall. Right, huh? The convention center is right next to the Sheraton. got some lunch but this isn't what I ordered I ordered buffalo chicken cheese loaded fries but it was too hot out there to check my box so when I got back to the convention center to sit down this is what I opened this is what I got wings and fries it's not what I wanted but it tastes good CBS sports This was an elite career fair. I've never seen anything like it. So many companies with established, established, <laughs> y'all I'm crazy. No, but for real, like, Associated Press, ESPN, ABC, um, Fox Sports, Sony was there. I got to check out some cool cameras, NFL, MLB. I mean, you name it, it was there. It was crazy. I think some people were conducting interviews. They were handing out little goodies. It was just such a nice feeling to see so many people getting the chance to network with the company they want to work for in person because a lot of people don't have the opportunity to do that. So the fact that they put this on 
for us black people is amazing and y'all look at these cameras they were so nice i was showing him my camera and yeah it was cool it's currently 7 14 p.m um what would this be i'm basically sitting in the lobby taking up time working on my laptop while i wait for the welcome reception which starts at 7 30. so i've been sitting for like maybe 45 minutes to an hour now just on my laptop working on a graphic that's due tomorrow the reception lasts from 7 30 to 9 p.m but i doubt i'll be staying the whole time because i'm extremely tired and i had to get up at 5 a.m this morning to catch my flight but so far the convention has been really good i've learned a lot um i've made some connections already and i'm having a good time i have a bag full of goodies i'm going to show you guys once i get back to the hotel room tonight i don't know what kind of food will be served at the reception but obviously i'm going to show you guys um if i don't get full at the welcome reception if they even have food i don't know um i'll probably stop at subway which is underneath the sheraton slash beside the sheraton hotel and then uh, i'm gonna call my uber and go back to my hotel and go from there now when i was approaching the welcome reception and i saw the bar located outside of the doors i knew this was no ordinary event some people were dressed up and when they opened up those double doors it was like the entire atmosphere of the convention changed it was crazy like all day we're business casual you know networking and obviously this is a networking event as well but it was it felt top tier <laughs> can y'all tell i've never been to anything like this before they had charcuterie boards what is that i don't even know what that is <laughs> oh my gosh it was so good this meat was good i didn't eat the red part now i i did not eat the red part but the cook part was good i got some pasta um there were bars in every corner of the room it's crazy in the middle <laughs> everywhere and this is me waiting on my uber because like i said i was up at 5 a.m to make it to the airport this morning and I wanted to make it back to the hotel at a reasonable time before it got too late. Because y'all know I don't like riding in Ubers. But I did get to ride in the Tesla. That was very cool. I made it back safely to my hotel. And I'm having a great time. Like a great time. It's like I knew I was going to have a good time. But I'm having a great time. I've met so many people so far. Um, just at the welcome reception, I was at a table with a CNN content producer. Like, what? That's crazy. That's crazy to me. Tomorrow, I really, I really look forward to the BET um, session. I think it's BT and CBS. I think they're both under Paramount. I'm about to look at my schedule, but I'm just too ready to get this makeup off and I'm ready to get in the shower. So let me read y'all the sessions that I did today really fast. I'm not gonna go in depth, but yes. To restate what I probably said earlier, the first session I went to was a YouTube news shorts workshop. Oh my gosh, I got so many goodies today. I need to show you guys before I forget. And then the second one was the cultural revolution of digital and social sports content. They were dropping gems. We're talking the vice president and executive producer of CBS. <sighs> Y'all, my battery died. So I don't know where I left off, but I'm meeting like top dogs. I'm listening to the highest of the highest drop gems on today's journalists 
and all the other people that are there like me a graphic designer at this nabj convention like i'm having a blast and then the welcome reception was really cool like i don't know what i was taking my makeup off I don't know what I was expecting out of the welcome reception, but it wasn't that like, there were drinks, I had to be at every corner. There was pasta, charcuterie boards, desserts. I don't know what kind of meat I had. It was a little red on the inside. I don't do pink meat, but the cooked portion got ate, okay? I'm just so happy that I'm here. I'm so thankful for this opportunity. My job flew me out to Birmingham, Alabama. If you guys are interested in the NABJ convention, make sure you guys check out the link in my description box. I think the one next year will be in Chicago, Illinois. At least that's what it said. So now I'm just taking off my makeup. And then once I get out the shower, once I get out the shower, I'm going to show you guys what I got in my goodie bag. My um, problem is that all this stuff got to get back on that plane. All I have is a carry-on bag and a personal bag. I didn't have any check bags. So I need to figure out a way to have everything fit inside of the bags that I have already. That's my dilemma. So here are some of the things that I got in my NABJ tote bag today. I have my flashlight on because the lighting in here is not that great. And I'm also watching the World Cup right now. So here are some pamphlets or little postcards or flyers, whatever you want to call them, from different booths that are, that are at the Frick. These are some of the booths that were at the career fair today. Let's see, we got NBCU, CBS, AP, Politico, Spectrum News was there. So many different um, companies were there. Here's some more. I got a t-shirt, some mints, pins, um, a lanyard from Anscape. Uh, what else? I got a selfie light from Yahoo. That basketball is from CBS Sports. Here's some more. Here's some more information about different companies and whatever else is going on. Another notebook. My favorite thing is this mug that I got from the YouTube session. They also gave us little notebooks and I have some business cards right there. I'm getting really sleepy. If I'm talking with a lisp, it's because I have my retainer in for the night. Um, I'm currently working on my laptop and watching the World Cup like I showed you guys. Here's what I'm working on right now. I'm not sure I like it just yet but you gotta trust the process. Definitely want to get some things in the background on the sides, add some texture and things like that. I'm about to put this stuff back into the tote bag so I can clean off this bed and just chill for a little bit before I get in the bed to go to sleep for real, for real. I just ironed this shirt. Now I'm noticing wrinkles that I didn't see when I was on the ironing board and that's kind of bothering me. However, I don't feel like taking the shirt off. So it's gonna have to stay like this. Today is day, it's really day three, but the first day, I feel like the first day didn't count. Like the day before I got here, they did some activities, but it wasn't really like a full day planned schedule ordeal, if that makes sense. But it's day two for me and my final day here. I have a few sessions scheduled, a few seminars, I guess you can say, scheduled. I have a meeting. I look forward to going to the BET seminar today. I don't even know what we're gonna be talking about. Y'all, this app is so cool. Everything in one place. So I'm going to the BET and CBS seminar and we're going to be talking about content for change america in black director's cut lunch and learn powered by bet and cbs news and that's in the ballroom at the west end yeah y'all i'm really excited that's gonna be my favorite event i feel like gotta put on that deodorant honey if anyone cares to know what deodorant i like to use it's this one my favorite scent of the day burberry anyone else 
smell their perfume before they spray it. I just always want a reminder what it smells like. <clears throat> I need to go ahead and put my shoes on. It is currently 7.49 a.m. And I was supposed to be there at 7 a.m. That's when the breakfast started. It ends at 8.30. I don't know if I'll be there in time to get any breakfast, so we'll just see. But I really hope the lobster food truck is there today because when I got to the food truck, and I was about to place my order at the food truck. I don't remember the name of it, but I know they sell like lobster rolls and things like that. They're like, we can't take any more orders because we got to go to our next location. So I really hope, crossing my fingers, that they're back today. Here's our name tags. I'm about to put mine on so I can call this Uber and leave us out of here. We should be here, right here. I guess some things to know if you plan on coming to the next NABJ convention or if you've never been to one and want to know some tips. I recommend bringing a notepad or something to write on. I've been writing notes in my iPad on good notes. Resumes are good things like having copies of your resume but most of the booths have like a QR code and you just scan it with your phone and they'll have a little section on the form where it's like import your resume. So I have a digital copy as well. Be ready to talk to people. I'm still learning how to pull out my extrovert side. I feel like it's better coming here with another person that you know. My co-workers are here, but obviously we're all going to like different sessions But if you have somebody that you know, you guys have the same interests and you guys go to the same sessions I feel like it's easier to network with people because you feel more approachable or you feel like you can approach people because you have You know your partner in crime with you. Did I say business cards? I think you should bring business cards when you network with somebody you guys can exchange your business cards Bring comfortable shoes to walk in because you're gonna be walking a lot a lot water is important obviously money for food and things like that and i feel like those are all the you know normal things really at the end of the day it's a great great opportunity the career fair so many companies you can talk to so many people you can talk to like last night at the welcome reception i sat at a table with a whole bunch of people i don't even know and all of them are really cool like i'm a content producer that works for cnn yeah i'm just excited to see how today goes the type of people that i meet today what other opportunities that might bring for me whether i take something away from this conference while i'm here or maybe even later on down the line something happens where i'm like wow i'm so glad i went to the nabj conference because without it i would not have this opportunity that i'm in right now obviously speaking in future tense yeah definitely come here with an open mindset enough rambling my uber is five minutes away let me read this man's profile see what he's about he has 4.98 stars He's done 2,530 trips. He's been doing this for seven years. Y'all, I do not like doing Uber. I'm not gonna lie, but his reviews are good. Has passed a multi-step safety screen. He said his fun fact, he's a legal wheel man. Y'all see that? And he's a youth soccer coach. Great conversation, oh my gosh. Y'all, I don't like to talk when I get in Ubers. I'm sorry, just take me to my destination, please. Awesome driver, nice, safe, and helpful. Thank you for a great ride, blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. Five minutes away, I'm about to start heading downstairs, so once he gets here, I can just hop in the car. So I had to put this in slow-mo because I thought I was late to breakfast. I walked into a whole separate seminar. So there was breakfast, and then I guess this is an event. I got the ballrooms mixed up. I walked in ballroom B instead of ballroom A, thinking that I was late to breakfast. But eventually, I got to where I needed to be. I'm going to my next event. It's called This Just In, the role of social media and breaking sports. News. So I'm heading to that location right now. My next session is at the West End, so I'm just walking there now. Thank God it's not super hot and I'm not sweating, so that's good. 
So, um, the next session is inside of their ballroom. First of all, the West End is a beautiful hotel, if I do say so myself. Like I said previously, the BET and CBS luncheon was held in the West End Ballroom. And they fed us. Good girl, when I walked in, there was a salad. They had some bread rolls. They had key lime pie, some type of chocolate cake. But basically... This seminar was to um, provide awareness about the BET series, Black in America, and we got to ask some of their um, people questions. So last time y'all see me, I was leaving the BET and CBS seminar at the West End. Since then, obviously I ate there and I had another session with ESPN. And I also went to an artificial intelligence seminar as well. But I'll catch you guys back up when I get back to the hotel. I just put in for my Uber. And once I get back to the hotel, I'm going to get me something to eat and chill from there. So a few days have passed since the conference. As you guys can tell, I'm already home. I left off with me waiting on my Uber on day two of the NABJ convention and career fair. So basically when I got back to my hotel, I, I did my nighttime routine and I ordered some Outback. I got the Queensland shrimp and chicken pasta and a strawberry lemonade. And y'all know I ate that down because I was starving. Day two felt a little weird for me because you guys know I'm obviously not a journalist. I am a graphic designer. And I feel like a lot of day two seminars were based around being a journalist and slash or an editor of some sort. But I still did go to some cool sessions. Like, let me see what the names were. Yeah, so the first one that I attended was the This Just In, the role of social media and breaking sports news powered by ESPN. That was a really good one. I learned some new social media tips from them. And then the luncheon was my favorite, the one with BET and CBS News. Um, they talked about content for change, America in Black, which is a new BET series, which is really Really nice. They also said that they'd be looking for some new producers. So if you're a producer and you're interested in working for BET, make sure you guys do your research and figure out how you can get a job producing for the America in Black series. What else did I do that day? Um, I went to a pivoting to startups. They basically talked about how you can go from working corporate and starting your own business. And then the last one that I did was the artificial intelligence seminar, which was really good. We did talk about a lot of things that involved AI and how you can use AI as a useful tool in your everyday life. So that was basically it. I had a great time at NABJ. If you guys are interested in some more content, make sure you guys check out my TikTok. I will be posting a few things over there and you guys should be following me anyway, as well as on Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog so I can go ahead and finish editing it and get it uploaded for you guys. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for watching and making it this far down the video. As always, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.